What is going on, you guys? Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Lorem Ipsum Text Generator, uh, Lorem Ipsum Figma plugin. It's just, uh, it is a text generator that allows you to fill your text layers with dummy text. Uh, has a couple of options uh, between generating words, sentences, and paragraphs. And I have this little layout to show you how to auto generate um, these selected text layers that we're about to use and whatnot. So let's get started. Um, so I have this little, I have this layout here, um, and notice I have some text boxes here. I've already predefined like the bounding boxes for these, I mean these text boxes, widths and heights. So if I go to, if I select this text, um, and I right click on it and go to plugins and select Lorem Ipsum, uh, you can see that I have the option to choose between word sentences and paragraphs, and I can also begin or not begin with Lorem Ipsum. And you can also generate the perfect amount to fit the text frame. But uh, I find this not to perfectly fit the text frame, but with the adjustment of the line height, it does kind of fit it perfectly in a way. So if we go to generate one paragraph, you'll see that it generates a paragraph um, just about uh, to the size of this uh, text frame, maybe like one more line. Um, also, if we go to plugins and select Lorem Ipsum again, um, and we do auto generate um, as opposed to generate. They they both vary. Um, uh, auto generate will, as it said, automatically fill the selected layers with the perfect amount of lorem ipsum to fit the existing frame. And uh, just utilizing the generate button will not fit it to the text frame. Or, so I would. Typically use auto generate for best practices. I would say probably make your life easier as opposed to you know going in and having to delete it and making sure it fits the bounding box. And also uh, just make sure you have your desired um, line height. So if I go to plugins, Lorem and Ipsum, and click on auto generate, it'll fit to my selected frame. I don't like the look of this. So I'm gonna auto generate again. I like that. Uh, and you can adjust the line height within the box as well. Um, but this would already be predefined in your text styles if you're using a design system, which I recommend. Um, on to the next one, we can generate again. Just go to plugins, select the Lorem Ipsum. I want one paragraph. I can do auto generate, and we're good to go. Um, and then I have a title here, um, I, and we can utilize the words for this one. So maybe I want three words. So I'm just gonna go to three words and generate. And there we go, got that. And then I want some body copy as well, my predefined text area. And I also have this laid out on a grid, which is why these text boxes are as big as they are. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm just using the Control G shortcut key to access the grid. And I'm gonna right click, go to plugins, select Lorem Mipsum, and I want one paragraph this time, not 31. I'm gonna click auto generate and boom. We have two paragraphs as opposed to one, which is what we specified. Uh, maybe just a bug, but that kind of gives you a general idea of how to utilize the Lorem Ipsum Figma plugin. Um, if you like that video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.